Hello again, this is Glenn with Asylum 7 Studios, and welcome back to part two of our series on developing an entire website from design to implementation in Drupal 8. And what you're seeing in front of you is a really ugly, really fast mock-up of the website skeleton, the wireframe, if you will, for what we're going to be developing today. And I've actually gone ahead and marked this up in semantic HTML, but I have not styled it as of yet. Let me just pull up brackets and pull that off to the right. Um, okay. And let's get this out of the way. Hide the sidebar here so things are just a little easier for you to see. And, okay, here we are. So what I've done is I've separated off our template code with this root div. And basically anything outside of this root div belongs to Drupal and will be managed by the CMS. And we're not going to worry too much with that. But we've got a full width header here. And I have that marked up as a header, full width site header. And it will contain a row, a grid row, with our logo and primary navigation in here. So what I've done is I've created a block to contain the site logo, which is a figure, a link, and a placeholder image that I'm pulling up from placehold.it. And the alt tag with the name of the website included there and also have the title to return to the front page and I'll show that to you in just a moment on the actual um, live preview and we have below we have a second block and this is the primary site navigation it is just an unordered list of links to the different sections on our website we haven't configured any of those just yet but uh, again this is this is all 90% throwaway code that we're just using to design the site itself. And that covers it for the header. Next we have the highlight section which will contain the slideshow and um, uh, possibly a few other sections that I have not yet designed. So what I've just done here is created a section full width that will span the entire width of the page regardless of the grid size. Um, it will contain the highlighted section it has a grid row and I have this uh, div set up with an ID of slideshow now I've used an ID here because I plan to uh, target this in jQuery to actually build the slideshow and for now I just have a figure with a placeholder image and a fig caption that is empty in which I'm going to actually display the slideshow captions I'm going to use this uh, element to target in jQuery to display the captions on the image itself. And down below the slideshow we have our primary content section. I have that listed as a full width section with site primary content as a class. It uh, also includes a grid row. And in here is the main section with our page title, article, and we have a div for the article post date, and we have a span for the month. A span for the day that it was posted and then we have the actual article content which will contain a head two with the article headline and a short summary in a paragraph below and we have that a few times here just to give us some content to help us style and now over beside of that we have the first sidebar which will be a will contain a block with a search form in here and this is very simple very basic search form doesn't have to do anything because this is just design uh, Drupal has a search block that we're gonna look at uh, styling and pre-processing rewriting um, to fit what we need okay below that we have our Twitter feed which is another block with an H3 just with the title of the block here and we may not end up displaying that on the final design just depends on how everything looks when it's when we get to that point uh, this is still the design phase I just prefer to do my design in the browser okay and for each tweet I'm rendering those as a figure and this is probably not the best way to do it but um, we're we're using this because of the um, 
I, I, I forget the word, uh, the convenience of being able to set the figure caption and have that as the actual body of the tweet and the username um, for the Twitter feed. And we're just using a placeholder image for the, the picture, um, the avatar of the user. And we've got a few of those. Now below that we have a feature ticker, which is another full width section. And I don't have anything labeled in the mock-up here, but it is a full width section. And basically we're just going to have uh, three articles or, or pieces of content on the website. And we're probably going to animate this as a jQuery slideshow as well. Um, but I, I'm, again, not sure, and it depends on how things go in the design phase. But basically, I'm just creating a short headline, short summary, and I have up to three of those. Next, we have the site footer with four separate sections. The first is a block and will contain legal information, such as the copyright, terms of use, and privacy policy, we have our off-site contact information with the company name, address, phone number, and email. And I've just got placeholder data in here for now. Now we have the site footer contact, which will be an actual contact form where someone can just put in their name, email address, a short message, hit submit, send us a message from anywhere on the site. They don't have to worry about going to a contact page, though we will likely have a contact page. Um, uh, this would just be there for the convenience of the user. And so let's just take a look at it here. We have a field set, the legend, send us a message, um, a text input for the name, an email input for their email address, and I have it marked as required. Um, I'm actually not sure why that's there because I'm not going to require an email address on that section of the placeholder form, so we'll just get rid of that. Then we have a text area with, for their message and a submit button to send the form. Next we have the footer navigation, which will likely contain main navigation as well, um, just in another easy to access, easy to use place. But for now I'm just using it for uh, social media icons and I've just got these 24 by 24 placeholder icons linking back to the page with an H5 above it to connect with us. And I'm actually going to pull up the um, the live preview of this just so that you can see the, the markup of the site. Um, and again, it's all completely unstyled. And, but in the next video, we're going to go over getting all of these sections to align to the grid um, uh, just overall. So we're going to be pushing all of the header content up into the header, spreading it out full width, uh, doing something with the slideshow section to make it look a bit better, um, just lining up the main content, the ticker, and the footer. But that's going to do it for this video. This is uh, just an overview. Um, and as a reminder, we, uh, we have just started doing these tutorial videos on uh, designing and developing um, in everything from web design, game design, 3D modeling, and um, graphics design as well. We're going to be covering several um, different subjects in different video series. And if you're interested in what you see, uh, feel free to uh, tweet this out, share it on Facebook. Um, and we don't have a, a donation section just yet, but uh, we we are providing these videos for free in our spare time, um, and they are not a, uh, a a primary source of income by any means. They're uh, th these are just volunteer projects. So um, once we do have a donation section set up for that, um, we're going to be using any of those donations to help us fund our. Um, more prominent projects are actual game development, library development, uh, things like CGDA and Expanse um, that we're struggling just a little bit to get funded. Um, but feel free to, to donate to us. Drop us a line. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, leave a comment under this video and I will get back to you just as soon as I can. Thanks a lot and we'll see you in the next one.